Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. FG Normal reached out to me and asked if I would like to review some diamond paintings on my channel. So I'm not sure if I have seen anybody else do any diamond painting reviews for this company before. Um, they're probably out there. I just don't remember them at this point in time. They gave me a dollar figure and I could pick out any of the diamond paintings up to that amount. This is another very budget friendly uh, diamond painting company. Not quite as inexpensive as Everyday E-Deals, but pretty close. So I was able to pick out five different diamond paintings. I didn't expect to get near that many. I thought maybe a couple, but no, I was able to get five of them. So let's see the goodies. I had to open the bag because I wasn't sure who this was from. <laughs> and here it was from them. I'm so excited. So. Look at that. They even come like everyday e-deals. Look at that. We have five diamond paintings. So let's just pick one. We'll pick uh, this one. So sit back, grab a drink, and let's look at these. And I am going to well, I may not, I may wait till I'm done and off camera to get these all put back away. And then at that time, I will mark everything. These are not large diamond paintings at all. They are smaller canvases. They have a lot of full and partials, but I thought that was so pretty. Oh my gosh, one color. Well, that's gonna make it easy. <laughs> Alrighty, I guess I didn't realize that when I ordered this. This is a 30 by 40, but as you can see, it is a partial. And really, boy, I thought there was gonna be more to drill on here than that. All it basically is is them and then the tree itself. But isn't that pretty? Love, love, love the colors in it. So, boy, this is one you could do in an evening, right? Um, so, yeah, very, wow, that is very sticky. And guess what? The symbols are clear. <laughs> uh, I didn't realize there was only one color. Uh, guess what? I've never seen a canvas before that has no color key. <laughs> I guess we don't really need it. Well, this is an easy unboxing. Never seen this happen before with one color. <laughs> That's funny. And you get your standard toolkit, single drill pen, green bolt, and a little square of wax. There are no babies in here at all, which is okay for me. I don't use them at all. Anyhow, so, all right. First one done, boy, that was fast. Okie dokie, and it was a round drill. Well, okay, I guess this one I can get back in there. These are gonna be easier to put back than I thought, so I think I am just going to, uh, let's see, yeah, I might as well write down what it is. That was a 30, by 40, uh, what should we call that one? Silhouette. Silhouette, is that how it's spelt? I think so. Uh, sunset? This is a, ooh, don't wanna smear this. This is a partial. I should put on there. One color, comma, easy. <laughs> okay, well that was quick. Let's look at the next one. So if you just want a real quick, easy one, 
That's the one to order. I will link this company's website down below as well as each one of these particular diamond paintings that you will see me show. This is another partial, just a itty bitty little baby one. This is a 25 by 25 standard toolkit. Oh, we have more than one color. In this little baby thing, we actually have, would you believe there are 19 colors in this thing? A lot of glare. I'm sorry about that. Um, but the whole, you know, middle part of the picture is drilled. It's just the background that isn't. Let's zoom in to this little thing. And, oh, the, the symbols are very, very clear. And so this is a round partial. And yes, nice and sticky. Yeah, very, very clear. So again, one that will not take long at all. When I typically buy diamond paintings, I normally don't buy um, uh, ones that are, oh, let's zoom back out so you don't get close up with my hand here. Come on, where's my zoom? There we go. I don't typically buy partials. Um, but I thought, mm, let's do something a little bit different because I know there are a lot of you out there who like partials and you like just these quick little ones. So I thought, well, let's order some of these and show them on my channel for those of you who like these kind. Let's look at these gorgeous diamonds, drills, I should say. These colors are gorgeous. Of course, I would have to pick a diamond painting with pinks and purples in, right? Mm -hmm. This is the packaging that I really like. I like when they have the foil on the drill packs because you can, of course on this one, it is a little bit harder to read because the writing is a little bit smaller, but yet the number itself, well, let me zoom you in so you can see something. Uh, the number itself is quite big. And even though this is a teeny tiny little baby diamond painting, if you look on here, they do have DMC coats. So that kind of surprises me. Um, so yeah, on here we do have the DMC codes as well as the numbers. Now when I kit this up, I'm sure I'm just going to put the number itself down on the container. I'm not going to bother with the DMC code because I have these little kits that I use and they're all, I have them labeled, you know, one, two, three, four, five. And then I just reuse them little containers so that I don't have to relabel them with a DMC number. And yeah, that makes it much, much easier. So yeah, I will just use the numbers themselves. But let's look at the pretties. Oh, very pale, pale pink. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at these. Oh, these colors are going to be gorgeous together. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that one. And so we just keep getting a little bit darker and darker. Very dark, dark purple. Not many of those. Oh, there's a pretty lavender. Oh my gosh. Oh, I should keep this one out to do. <laughs> I need some really pretty stress relief right now. Oh my goodness. But I have already two little ones started. One that I started on the channel that's sitting up here. Another one that I started in the living room and I should work on them, but really would like to do this little baby one. <laughs> and I might just do that. I think I'm going to put this one on the side. Look at these beautiful blues too. So all these blues with them beautiful purples and then beautiful pinks. Oh my gosh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different pinks and all them different purples. Oh, 
Are they not gorgeous? You know they are. Okay, maybe not to those of you who don't like pink and purple. But, <laughs> okay, I'm going to tuck this one back away in the bag, and I am going to put it on the side. Yes, I am. I may work on this tonight. I'm all excited now. <laughs> of course, you know, whenever we open a diamond painting, we're like, oh, I want to work on that one right now. And then you open the next one. Oh, my gosh, I want to work on that one right now. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that's my favorite so far. Open the next one. No, that's my favorite. You know, the struggle is real. Okay, let's see. I can't even remember the five I ordered, so. The canvases themselves seem really nice and thick. You know, it's not the, the sometimes those you get from like AliExpress are the thinner canvas. These are really nice and thick canvases. Oh yeah, now they're partial, but is she not pretty? Oh, I love it, love it. Another standard toolkit. And this one is all rhinestones. She is going to be stunning. This is a 30 by 40. There are eight symbols. So again, this is going to be a relatively easy one. Love it. They have the, the key code down here and up here. I just thought she was stunning. And there's no purple in it. Hey. <laughs> Let's roll it quick this way so we can take a look at it a little bit better when I zoom in. You know, that's the one thing with these and everyday e-deals too. When they come in these little white packets, they do get, you know, quite creased. But that can be flattened out under books or just something heavy. Um, I know a number of people that iron their canvases. Um, if you are going to do that, make sure you watch a video or two on how to do it because otherwise you can ruin your canvas. But it can also be done very easily um, and not ruin your canvas. Just, just make sure you watch some videos on how to do it. There's many of them out there. Let's take a look at the drill field. Look at that and wait till you see the, the drills. Look at her dress in here. Now that is not drilled. It's only over here that is. So isn't that pretty? And it's like sparkly. The canvas is a little bit sparkly. I don't know if it's showing up. But, oh. Oh, really sticky. That'll hold the rhinestones on. Really nice. Now, these are quite teeny. So, I would imagine the, the rhinestones are going to be pretty small in here. But yet, you can read the symbols. Very, very easy. And because there are only eight of them, you know, it, it's not going to be too difficult. So, these are all going to be the small rhinestones. But then, up in her wings, look at, we have these bigger teardrop ones. Oh, I bet you these are going to be stunning. We have these little bit larger pink ones here. Oh, I think those are drills. Yeah, these will be drills. Oh, so her necklace is going to be just gorgeous, her crown. She's got this bouquet over here where you put pinks in for the flowers. <gasps> Oh, I want to do this one right away, too. This one probably is going to take just as long as the previous one because <laughs> there's, you know, not as much to do on it. As long as I have you zoomed in, we'll just go ahead and look at the drills right away. Rather than zooming you out and zooming you back in, you'll just get to see a close-up of my hands. Oh my gosh, look at these blues. Oh, wait till you see them. We'll, we'll save that for last. 
Okay, so, oh my gosh, look at them. We have this orangish color, but yet it's not a bright orange. It's a real muted down orange, and then a shade a little bit lighter than that. Oh, so pretty. Look at the gorgeousness. <laughs> pretty yellow. Look at the red. So these are all the small round rhinestones, and then we have a bunch of the silver. Oh, is this thing gonna sparkle or what? Mm. Oh, AB teardrops. So I bet you these are what's gonna be in the yellow. Oh my gosh. Oh, then here's the reds that are a little bit bigger. So that must be here where the what looks like pink must gonna be red. And then last but not least for these big ones up here. Look at these. Look at them. You get one extra and only one's facing this way, but <laughs> you can only see the back side of the other two. But look at these beautiful blue, huge rhinestone. Oh, that is going to be stunning. I'm glad I picked out some partials. <laughs> yes, sir. -y. Wow. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So what are we going to call this one? Rhinestone fairy partial. I think I'm going to tape the ends of these closed when I'm done. So, what do I do with my pen here? I want to zoom back out so you don't got to see me right, right up in your face. Okay, rhine stone. Fairy. Thirty by forty partial. There. Oh, wow. Three out of three. Mm, what's next? Make sure I'm not cutting into the diamond painting, so I just trim the very edge. Okay. Let me take a sip over here quick. Has anybody else heard of FG Normal before? This is another partial. So I don't think I ordered any full drills. Oh yeah, it goes this way. Again, gorgeous colors right up Lisa's alley. And this was kind of off a little bit. Oh, I didn't realize there was a name up here. I should have known that. But I want to give it a more descriptive name so that I know. This one's a 30 by 48 because it is quite long. But isn't that a beautiful, um, oh my gosh. Dream catcher. I just, I, I just had a brain fart. There are 13 colors in here. It's kind of similar to my desktop. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Let's look at, oh yeah, the symbols are very clear, especially considering how dark this is. But, oh, I think those colors are going to be gorgeous. We'll see how they'll stand out against this darker background. Oh, yeah, nice and sticky. But, yeah, these colors along here, if they're representative of the color of the drills, 
which I'm, I'm sure, you know, they're not going to be exact. Things on uh, printed canvases and paper are never exact, right? It's pretty impossible, but, oh, and these blues down here with some pinks in there. Oh, I just think that's going to be gorgeous. So kind of an odd size. I've never seen one this size, 30 by 48. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the pretties. Here's our standard tool kit. Okay. Stop it now. Behave. Okay. We want to see the pretties. Now these are just standard drills. No, no special ones, but gorgeous colors. It is a round. Here we go. Okay, fine. You want to do that? Go ahead. Stubborn as a kid. Oh, oh my gosh. Let's zoom in. I know. We get so excited over the silliest things, don't we? Oh, look at these pinks. Oh, love that color. Love, love, love. And next to this. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's another one I want to do right away. And then because I have so many, I'll put it away and then forget about it. Oh, all kinds of pretty blues. Look at that. And this will be all in the feathers down below. Some more blues. Kind of like a dusty blue. Oh, look at that deep purple. Oh, so pretty. Doesn't even have my favorite purple in here, though. <laughs> now, these are going to be kind of dark against that background, but, you know, with them being sparkly and stuff, I think it'll, you know, really stand out from the background. A few uh, three tens. Oh, there's a pretty one. Not quite my favorite, but very similar. And finally, a beautiful lavender. Mm -mm -mm. So pretty. Oh, yes. Be still, my beating heart. <laughs> okay, that was a little over dramatic, but alrighty. Oh, zoom me back out. I keep forgetting that. Just knock me over the head and remind me. Okay, so we're going to call this, uh, not Windville, because I wouldn't know what the heck that is. What should we call this? Um, pink and Purple Dreamcatcher. I think that'll do it for me. We'll try. We'll, we'll see how good my memory is. Yeah, like, like that'll happen. Where'd I put my marker? Okay, guys, let me know. Where did I put it? I don't know why I would have put it back, but I have another one up here anyhow. Weird. Okay, what did I say? Pink. And purple. Dream catcher. It's hard writing on bags. Did you know that? This is a 30 by 48 partial. Yeah, I don't think I got any that were full drill, unless this last one possibly was. I can't remember. Okay, last but not least, it is a heavier one, so possibly. Yeah. I'm just having all kinds of problems. Go, folks. 
Oh, yeah. I did order one full drill. Okay. El Herate. This is a 30 by 40. Can't remember what the picture was. Oh, yeah. Now I do. Okie dokie. Looky, looky, looky. I'll just hold it up. Beautiful flowers and hummingbirds. You know how much I love my hummingbirds. Oh my gosh, look at these greens. Wow. Oh my gosh. Dinner toolkit. Let's get to the nice stuff. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah, let's fold this the other way. Don't want to do it too hard because sometimes that's how you can do stuff to the glue. So I don't want to crease it too much. But there. Okay, that helped a little. Do I have it zoomed out all the way? Yeah, I do. Okay, my next diamond painting unwrapping is with some big diamond painting, so I'm going to have to move my camera up, which is one reason I really like the setup I have now, because the pole that's over there, you can move up or down. My other stuff never had that, so I can move my camera up for unboxing the next ones. <gasps> Aren't these pretty? I love the colors and the flowers, and look, I've never seen, you know, what, these are the, what, the ruby-throated hummingbirds, right? But look at these greens. Ooh. Oh, this is hard to pull back. Do they have this on the right way? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Because then it's leaving some marks in there. I wonder... Let me just see. No, it's on the right way, because the other way is... Not. Let me see. Yeah, the other way is just as bad, if not worse. So they do have it on the right way, but I think, yeah, I'm going to be putting uh, parchment squares on this. Anyhow, that's what I usually do um, with my diamond paintings I take off this cover and I put on my parchment squares that I bought off Amazon I like working with them um, but yeah the uh, drill field is really nice and clear again look at that even you know in here where you know we have so much of the same color but there are actually two colors in here you can see where they have the white sevens and then, what is this? I'd have to look over here, eight. And that's in black. So, you, you know, even though the colors look identical here, you can, you know, distinguish between the colors. Oh, my move goal. My move goal was achieved, yes. <laughs> uh, yay, Lisa. Okay. Um, one thing that I just added to my watch, whoops, that I thought would come in really handy is way up here. It shows me my battery left on both my watch and my iPhone. Um, so that's going to come in really handy when I record so I know how dead my battery's going and when I have to stop recording. <laughs> so like right now I'm at 38%, so I'm getting down there. But, yeah, I thought, mm, yeah, that would come in handy. Okay. Oh, that is gorgeous. It was so pretty on the screen when I picked it out. But, oh, my gosh, in person, it's, oh, it's even prettier. Let's look at the pretty dress. So, boy, five out of five. Yes. Okay, okay. 
hate this part. You know, I say that every unboxing, don't I? It's always Lisa Poo. Well, you know, you can't see it along here. <laughs> you know what they should have? They should have like a blue strip of glue or something, you know? You'd be able to pick it out. It's this super clear that, you know, there's no ripples, no nothing. You can't see the edge of this. I think they do it on purpose. Just to see us struggle. Um, so we do have 20 colors in here. And again, we have the symbols, and then we do have DMC codes. But I say symbols, but there are no symbols. We have numbers 1 through 9, and then A through H, J, K. Well, we do go through N, but they're not, you know, doesn't have all. They skip some letters, so like A, B, C, D, E, F, and then H, J, K, L, and then N. And I'm assuming they skip some of the alphabet that they do because they can be um, confused with one that looks similar. So very nice that they do that. Yes, indeedy. Okay. We're going to start at number one. Oh, my goodness. Yep, start with the good stuff. Look at the awesomeness. Oh, and there's a lot in there, too. Wow. So this is a full round drill. We do have some three tens, I'm assuming. 31, no, it's not. 1052s. Hmm, okay. Yeah. All righty. I don't know about that. Because we do have three tens. Isn't it stated on here? I'm confused. Let me see if there's something that looks like black coming down the pike. And I don't. So, must not have the DMC code on the packet itself. Because there is no 310 on here. Yeah, it just has the number, you know, one, two, three, four, what, you know, ever that part is. Then it has the B1052 that corresponds with, uh, you know, canvas number. And then on the bottom is a code that must be representative of this canvas, too, somehow, because they're all the same on all the packs. So... On the packs themselves, there are no DMC codes, but on the canvas, there are. So, um, yeah. So, for those of us who like the DMC codes because we save our drills, um, it is on the canvas. So, okay. All righty. After that, let's keep going. Beautiful red. Some more pretty purples. And I'm stuck to the bag over here. Oh, did I ever say there are 20 colors in here? Oh, look at that orangish red, reddish orange. Supposed to always say the primary color first, right? Yes. And then we have some of our beautiful greens. So this must be where the seven and eight come into play up here, right? Yes. So this would be seven and this is eight. So isn't that hummingbird going to be stunning? Oh. And then probably something like this is the ruby throated, you know, the red in the in the throat, <laughs> the neck. Oh, look at the yellows. Oh, and upcoming is one of my other favorite colors. And it is jam-packed, and this is part of the background. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Deep brick red. Oh, there's a color I love, too. That pastel pink. Well, this bag just wants to get in the picture here. Man. Some more pretty greens that are going to be in the hummingbirds. 
Mm -hmm. Another pretty pastel pink. Oh, some more bluish greens. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so pretty. Oh, full pack of pinks. It's going to go up in the flower. And then some of the reds, red oranges, golds like this will be down here in this flower. See, and there are, their wings are all tinged in the purples and pinks. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I do think like the breast of this bird is going to blend in so much with the background though that he's going to look like he has a see-through breast, doesn't it? Because <laughs> it's the exact same color as the background. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to look, but... It'll probably look fine once it's done. I'm just looking too deeply into it, right? But, oh my God, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, so that is the last of the five. And again, I will link each of these down below as well as their general website. They have, let me tell you, <laughs> So many diamond paintings, just thousands and thousands. You you would not believe every category under the sun, a search feature, of course. And yeah, you name it, that subject matter is there. So, oh, beautiful. Okay, so this is our last one. So what are we gonna call it? What are we gonna call it? Hummingbirds and flowers. Let's call it that. Okay. Honeybirds. That's what my kids used to call them when they were little. Not hummingbirds. They would call them honeybirds. <laughs> so these are honeybirds. Okay, so we have Humming birds. And flowers. Thirty by forty full round. I know those partials are always round, so I don't know if there is such a thing as a partial square. I've never seen it if there is. Partials are always round, I believe. Oh, I love it. So we have the hummingbirds and the flowers. We have that beautiful pink and purple dream catcher. That gorgeous rhinestone fairy. Oh, love that one. And then we had that silhouette sunset. That's going to take all of about maybe an hour or two. <laughs> and then we got the little baby one that I am going to be putting on the side and possibly doing tonight. Well, no, probably not because I'm going to be working on editing these videos and getting them uploaded. <laughs> so maybe after all my hard work tomorrow, tomorrow night I'll be able to relax and do this one. Yes. Okay, so there we go. Oh my gosh, love them, love them, love them. Thank you so much to FG Normal for reaching out to me and for sending these to me. I love them. So I hope you liked watching this video and watching the unbaking of these beautiful diamond paintings. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a terrific day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. <laughs> Bye, guys.